Hi, in the previous video you saw how to show numbers 12 and 18 on the abacus. In this video you will learn two more numbers that is 20 and 25 and see how to show them on the abacus. Okay, I will take number 20 first. For number 20 we have 20 balls as you can see. So, like we did in the earlier example, I will bring one box and place 10 balls in this box. Okay, so I place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 balls in this box. Now, let us count how many balls are left with us. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 balls remaining. You already know that when we have 10 balls, then we need to keep them in a box. So, I will bring a new box. Here we have second box. Let us keep 10 balls in this box as well. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 balls in the second box. Now we have nothing left. So we do not have any ball outside the box. Ok, let me remind you one more time that 10 ones is equal to 110 and one box has 10 balls or 10 ones that means one box is equal to 110 and the same way two boxes are equal to two tens. Here we have two boxes. This is box number one and this is box number two. So at the tens place we will have two circles. I draw one and two circles on the tens line. We do not have any ball outside the box, so there will be nothing at the ones place. So this way we show number 20 on the abacus. This is number 20 on the abacus. This is simple, isn't it? I will take one last example and after that I will tell you a trick to show any two digit number on the abacus. Okay. I will take number 25. I am sure you can solve this. So we have 25 balls for this number. I bring my first box. Let us put 10 balls in this box. Here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 balls in the first box. Now let us count remaining number of balls. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 balls. This is more than 10. So let us bring a new box. Now we are going to move 10 more balls in this new box. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 balls in the second box. Let us see how many balls are left now. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 balls left. Ok. So now these 5 balls will stay outside the box. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 balls outside the box. So the logic is Whenever you have 10 balls, then you need a box. And when you have less than 10 balls, then you keep them outside the box. Ok, let us show 25 on the abacus. We have two boxes, box number 1 and box number 2. So, I will draw two circles on the tens line. This is circle number 1 and this is circle number 2 and we have 5 balls outside the box. So, we will have 5 circles on the 1's line. 
here we have one two three four and five circles on the ones line okay this is the way to show 25 on the abacus and this is also the way to show any two digit number on the abacus as i said earlier i will give you a trick to place any two digit number on an abacus the first basic rule is that whenever we have any two digit number then the number on the right side will always go at the ones place and the number on the left hand side will always go at the tens place let us take any random number say 29 in this number 9 is at ones place and 2 is at tens place so i will draw nine circles on the ones line we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight and 9 circles on the ones line and two circles on the tens line here we have 1 and 2 circles on the tens line you can also draw circles at the tens place first for example in 53 we have 5 at the tens place and 3 is at the ones place so i will draw five circles on tens line here we have 1 2 3 4 and five circles on the tens line and 1 2 and 3 circles on the ones line so this is how number 53 is written and this is how number 29 is written notice number of tens and number of ones on the abacus i am sure you can show any two digit number on the abacus please practice more examples to learn this concept better thank you for watching